here's our three sections for today. One, I'm going to frame how to think about teaching tools. Two, I'm going to help you simplify your teaching tools with a framework that I think you can use as your go-to, uh, that you can plug and play different tools in when you want to teach a concept. And three, I want to help each of you talk less in practice. So those are our, our, our three sections today. Uh, one, an intro. Two, um, a framework. And three, a way to simplify and talk less. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. There's a, another really good book called Range. And in this book, there's a story shared of some uh, firefighters that were fighting wildfires in California four or five years ago. And these wildfires were raging and the wind picked up and all these firefighters got caught in a crosswind where they were actually surrounded by fire and they couldn't be evacuated. And a tragedy occurred where eight to 10 of these firefighters were actually killed while fighting fires in the mountains of California. And so they were trying to figure out how this possibly happened. It was the biggest tragedy um, that, they had, that they had had in the parks. And so they brought in an expert to basically go through and figure out how did these firefighters actually die? And so when they were, were doing the investigation, what they were found shockingly is that these firefighters died with their tools in their hands. Like they had their chainsaws, they had their shovels, they had their axes, and they were actually burned with their tools still in their hands as they were running away from the fire, which is really a study in psychology that we need to take as coaches is when we're afraid or when we're under stress or when things get heated, pun intended, we tend to hold on tight to the tools that we're most comfortable with, the tools that we've used the most. So like when we're stressed because our team's not getting better, when we're in the heat of the battle of a game, we tend to contract to the tool that we've used the most. And so as these firefighters were running away, they didn't drop their tools, which would have allowed them to run faster. And so what actually caused them to, to die is a, a, an unwillingness to drop the tools that they've used their entire life. And for us as coaches, I think that's a, a very powerful illustration is for us to grow, for us to get away from danger, we gotta be willing to drop some tools. And that's the first step in adding new ones. Because if we don't drop the tools that we've always used, we don't have any capacity to pick up new ones. And so I would urge everyone as step one, that tool that you've identified, set it down intentionally. It's not never use it or never pick it up again, but you've got to set it down. Um, and when you find yourself, and hopefully for our first step is we've raised awareness of what's the tool that we go to the most. When you find yourself, oh, I got to teach him. When you find yourself going back to that tool, pause and reflect and be like, okay, is this the right tool for the situation or should I try this other tool right now? That's the only way we're gonna grow as coaches because the more reps, just like Brian said with players, the more reps we get with these new tools, the more comfortable we'll be able to uh, become with it and we'll be able to use it more. So we're gonna put this first tool now, this first framework under the idea of simplicity and simplicity wins. Most coaches, allow their tools to get dull because of too much complexity of overuse, over talk, or too much information. So here's the three O's, which is the first tool that I'm gonna offer up to you as a framework to experiment with this season. Um, and, and even as you start to prep your team for their season. And here's the three O's, objective, organization, observation. I'll say it again. Objective organization observation. The goal of using the three O's is for us to talk less and to simplify. 